Hello, this is Dave. We're doing a little updated video on the basement strawberry uh, project. It is Thanksgiving morning, about 30 degrees outside here in Kansas City. The other reason we're doing this video is uh, I have to make some documentation about the strawberry plants that didn't work out. Uh, I ordered these plants from Hertz Gardens on eBay, that's H-A-R-T-S, and the gentleman was good enough to tell me that if they didn't work out to send him a photograph or in this case I'm going to send a video of uh, the ones that didn't work out and the ones that did. The aeroponics system here of course has tomato plants uh, left over from last year. This has still got tomatoes on it but the plant's pretty much dead. It's, it was actually here last year so it's over a year old. This one still seems to be doing pretty good. It's even got some new tomatoes on it right there and another one in the back. These are some of the plants that I put in the system. This one's actually got flowers on it blooms or it's just amazing to me that it's been two weeks this has happened there's another little bloom right there several more of course there's the upgraded flow control system that uh, I uh, improved on since the last video that just delivers the uh, flow of water into both pipes top and bottom and flows all the way down and around the corner back into the holding tank way over there here's one of the uh, bare root crowns that have actually got a couple of new little sprouts coming out of it. Some of these, uh, in my opinion, are pretty much dead. I did order the second lot of a hundred with these stems and leaves on them, but I don't think they got that message. But there's a few more and a lot of our pepper plants. As you can see they've already got roots that are dangling down into the spray as it feeds them. So everything from about here up, in my opinion, is alive. Everything from this point down and around is dead. And a lot more in here, bare root plants. It just didn't seem to make it. Anyway, it flows around and drops back into this holding tank, the 55 gallon converted aquarium with a big sump pump in there and another 1,000 gallon pump down there along with uh, lots of air stones to aerate the water. This is the flood and drain system where I cut all my runners and transplanted to another table. We'll look at it in a minute. This has got lots and lots of blooms on it. These strawberries are just doing phenomenal. I ordered these last summer and moved them inside. I'm trying another uh, nutrient solution made by Botanicare for uh, fruits and flowers mix up one teaspoon per gallon of water with this seems to be working out pretty well I've got some other stuff on the way though we're gonna try when it gets here this has got about a 25 gallon reservoir in the bottom that pumps the water up through this system and this system uh, you may remember this is built out of uh, wooden pallets it's all self-contained with the uh, pump mechanism and the uh, nutrient reservoir in the bottom you can see these are the runners I clipped off the old plants. Those roots are healthy. This is off for 45 minutes, on for 15. Keeps the plants nicely fed. Another one that's identical with a lot of those other bare root plants. It didn't quite make it. I just see no life coming out of them. So we'll get some replacements hopefully. And after we get those replacement plants, we will check back.